Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back and we're fighting the Dragon Lords challenge. Uh, here's the team. So we got Aiko right here. She's going to be our main healer. She's also going to help a lot in that fight and you guys will see exactly why. Miss Tia will be our AoE magic cover tank because we're going to need that. Uh, Zargabath, um, I like that unit and I really wanted to implement uh, the guy in the team. So we're going to use him as the physical provoke uh, tank. We have the slime because you know what? You need the slime in that fight if you want to get more uh, mission rewards. Camille is going to be our main damage dealer. And we can see right here the friend Titus or Titus, whatever. Uh, true double hand build on the Camille, which is going to be really, really fun. You guys can see right here. Brotherhood, double martial glove, the brace suit. Then we have double hand, tomb raider. Poach and poach, basically because I want to do more damage when uh, Dragon Lords transform into a dragon. Uh, our friend Titus right here, you guys can see, same thing, Brotherhood, Martial Glove, Martial Glove, Cloud's Uniform, Buster Style, Double End, Tomb Raider, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. We are going to be doing a lot of damage, and we're going right now into the fight. Uh... I tried that fight like 8 times and it took me a lot of time before I finally got it. Hopefully we're not going to fail that one and we're going to be doing a lot of lot of killing on the Dragon Lord. So first turn, nice and simple, we're going to do magic AoE cover for the whole party. Zargabath, uh, I want to do more damage so we're going to use Arcadian Light which we're going to boost our attack, defense, magic and spirit by 60%. We're going to use Camille and uh, Swift Tidal Attack, which is going to be the move to chain with Titus, or Titus, as I like to say. Little Slime, we don't want him to die, because basically that's one of the challenges, make sure no one in your party dies. Ico, uh, do I have Cradle of Warns? Yes, I do, but we're not going to use this right now. Uh, I think first turn we could just, you know, maybe block like that, and we're going to do this right here. See how much damage you can do. That's uh, that's enough damage. So next turn he's gonna be dead, hopefully. Uh, right here, you guys can see he's gonna do a fire damage move. Uh, that phase is really easy, guys. Uh, don't worry about using any uh, man eater or stuff like that. The way you have to build your, uh, we're gonna see right here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, equip. So she's a lot of fire resistance, 130 percent. You guys can see right here, Cat Ear Hood, uh, we have Minerva, Bustier, we have this right here. Oh, actually, I don't know why I changed that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we gave her some true Adolin Guard, the new one, so it's 15% for fire, fire, uh, and some HP, and this way she's able to resist a lot of fire damage. After, on the second phase, we're going to be using Camille a lot, especially with her, one of her abilities, and you guys will see right after we kill this dude. Because the second part is actually a little bit trickier, but uh, you guys will see exactly what I mean during that fight. So first turn, easy, he's dead, bye bye. Second turn. So this is where you have to be careful. Even though you put a buff on your team, it's not going to do anything. Because he's going to dispel you, and then he's going to lower your attack, defense, magic, and spirit. So whatever you do this turn, it doesn't do nothing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do some damage. Swift idle attack. So if I uh, quick hit, we're going to do this right here. This dude's going to disappear because we really don't want him to die. We're going to do some damage. See how much we do here. Not so bad. Not so bad. So, uh, since there is nothing else to do, we're just going to defend. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, we're just going to defend. So, he's going to basically dispel us. Then he's going to lower our attack, defense, and magic, all this good stuff. So you guys can see right here, everything is down. He just buffed himself up. No biggie. Aiko, this is why she's really useful. She has this move right here. Uh, she's able to remove defense. Uh, actually, what we're doing, we're going to dual cast it. Make sure we don't. We have to make sure we dual, dual white magic, that thing. So we're going to remove the uh, spirit reduction for our party. And also the defense reduction for a whole party. That's going to help a lot to tank some of, the, some of the damage that he's going to be doing. With Camille, I have Odin on her, which is going to be really useful. I'm going to use Dispel. Nice and easy, like that. So right here, we're going to use Titus 
with his uh, Imperil. So we're gonna do 100% Imperil. Mistia, really simple. She's just gonna AoE cover for the whole party. And this dude right here, we're actually gonna boost our defense spirit. Uh, no. Uh, should we do that? Mm. Actually, you know what? We're gonna use Word of Law. We're gonna medicate some damage taken, just in case. Just in case. Hopefully, we're gonna survive that turn. I hope we do, or else this video is trash. No, I'm kidding. Uh, right here, hopefully, she's gonna take the whole damage. Everything's good. Nobody's dying. There you go. Nobody's dying. Everybody's countering. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, this turn, you know what? We're just gonna heal. Do a white magic right here. We're gonna dual cast Karaga, Karaja, or whatever. Uh, Mistia, the good thing about her, the good thing about her is uh, we're gonna make her, yeah, we're gonna make her do this right here. We're gonna make her block him. Uh, I just want to make sure everything's good. Yeah, we're gonna boost our attack, defense, magic, and spirit right here. This way, we're gonna be doing a little bit more damage. Swift idle attack, quick hit. Let's see how much damage we can do to the big dragon. Big bad dragon, are you gonna take a lot of damage? I think you do. I think it does. Hopefully we're gonna be good this turn. Mistia, you're supposed to cover, which you're not doing right now. Are we lucky? No, we're not lucky. So, unfortunately, she dies, which is not really good. Mistia didn't jump in front of anything, which sucks a little bit, but we're still under control in that fight. We're just gonna use dual white magic. We're gonna full life her. We're gonna Karaja the whole party. We're gonna do this right here. Bring everybody back to life. Let's see how's everybody. How is everybody doing? So our defense, everything is up. We're gonna use Zargobath right now. We're gonna use this. So we're gonna boost our elemental resistance. Mistia, I'm really disappointed in you. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. AoE magic cover and hopefully you're gonna cover for everybody this time. And this dude right here, uh, we can take the turn. Our MP is looking pretty low, so we're just going to use Blitzmania and make sure we get some MP recovery right now. Just so maybe next turn we're going to be able to kill him. Mistia jumping in front. Thank you for finally jumping in front of the hits and the fire. There you go, you guys can see she resists everything. Uh, I put a light sword on Zargabat and uh, the boss, when he's dragon type, he's basically 100% um, resistance to light, 50% to dark. 50% to fire and 50% to ice. So make sure you guys just bring a water weapon. Don't bring any light weapon. And can we do the big damage right now to get rid of this dude? Uh, let's see if our buffs are up. Yeah, our defense, attack, and magic is up. Uh, I could probably remove. Actually, let's see something. Are we? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. So we're gonna heal right now. Let's wait, heal, because I want to make sure I don't die now, because we're right there at the end. Mistia, just, you know, do the same thing, AoE magic cover everything. You, my friend, we're going to use Word of Law, hopefully next turn. Hopefully we can kill him this turn. Oh, you know what? We're going to take an extra turn. I'm going to dispel him, because I don't know if I can kill him in one turn. Should we do it? Hmm. I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna dispel him. We're not gonna take any chance because I don't want to die right now. And you guys should do the same thing. If you see that he buffed himself up, be careful because if he buff himself up, it's by 300% to all his stats. And that's gonna do a lot of big damage. She dies again, doesn't matter. Our slime is back. Thank you. You're gonna go hide again. Uh, we're gonna full life here on Camille. We're gonna Karaga. You go back to the shadows. Right here, we're gonna control this fight. The good thing is we imperiled him. This is back. We're gonna do that right here. So he's gonna be 100% in peril. Next turn, for sure, we're gonna kill him. Zargabath. Um, we're gonna make sure everybody's good here. So defense, spirit, everything is up. Uh, our elemental resistance is up. We should be good. So I'm gonna go right here. 
block. Camille has nothing, which is dangerous. So we're just gonna use Word of Law right here. Just in case. Don't forget guys, it's all about controlling the fight. Make sure that if you think you can kill him, go for it. But if you're doubting, take that extra turn. Try to resist everything. See here, we're taking a little bit of damage, but we're not dying, which is great. And now, can we buff the whole party? No, we can't. Doesn't matter. I think we're gonna kill him right now. We should. And if we don't, it's a big fail. So, let's see. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. And that's it, guys. Uh, obviously, Camel died. Uh, I was a little bit unlucky there. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can do the same thing. If she dies, doesn't matter if one of your characters dies. It's not that much of a biggie. You guys can always restart the fight. Uh, it's also if your tank or you guys can see Mistia did not jump in front of the attack. But if your tank has some um, dodge in him, it's going to be a little bit easier since he's going to be evading some physical attacks. Also Mistia, the trick, if she jumps in front of everything, it's going to be a little bit easier. You guys can see. Uh, before she really didn't jump in front of the attack. That's why Camille got hurt really really bad uh, Also, you guys can use Camille Which I didn't do. She has a move uh, Basically, let me it's right here. Give me a second uh, Water is healing. So the second you guys use that move. It's basically an HP recovery for your whole party and also she buffs the party by 70 for 70% for fire damage uh, for three turns we could have used that move, I didn't use it, I wanted to do a little bit more damage and use the true double hand Camille. Guys, that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!